5 p.m. is within the realm of the normal court work day. Although you may have a legitimate grievance, at least one of you, and maybe more, picked a wholly inappropriate way to deal with it. In my time in the law since 1975, I have never known a juror to impertinently interrupt courtroom proceedings and demand to know what's going on and why it's taking so long. Further, I've never known any judge to answer to a juror how and why the judge is conducting the trial in the way he's doing. My duty is to these parties to make sure that they have a fair trial. You're part of the process, but your rights are no greater than mine as the judge. If I have to be here and do the job, then you have to be here and do the job. This is the draft. Take this, then going over to Afghanistan. This is a lot more comfortable than that. At least you do get End of the day yesterday, both parties requested a mistrial on the grounds that only one juror admitted to applying when clearly there was more than one, indicating dishonesty at the simplest level. The court could not inquire of all of the applauders. Further individual questioning of all the jurors would be required on that issue alone. Parties do not feel they can get a fair trial from this pool of jurors, do not know how they can trust some of the jurors to be totally truthful in jury selection, and that this situation cannot be cured. I agree with them. I've never had to abort a trial for jury misconduct before. I'm declaring a mistrial and am aborting the proceedings. This matter will be rescheduled likely to November of this year with another jury. That's the first date that I can get this on. This creates a tremendous expense and delay for both sides, including all of the witnesses who are under subpoena waiting to come into the courthouse. If you need a paper for your employer attesting you were here these two days, see Charlie, my bailiff. I'm open for suggestions on how better to handle the process, knowing that you would bring in an outsider's view on it. Thank you for serving, and I'm sorry you felt inconvenience. We're adjourned. We're off the record.